What up YouTube, this your boy down low back with another reply. This one is to Yellow Wolf, Radioactive. And you know, I came into this album not really expecting much because Yellow Wolf hasn't really hit me with any hits where I'm like, I got to hear this man's album, I've got to buy this. But overall, as I listened to it, it was pretty good. I can't knock it. Like, it had three solid songs on it that I really fucked with. That Get Away, Everything I Love, and the last song, in which the last song was the best song on this entire album. But the thing about Yellow Wolf is, he hasn't been able to take his skills and the things that he need to talk about and consistently make them into hot songs. Like, take for instance, the song Animal. Animal is just him showing off his skills, in which he's showing them off to a limit that not very many people could do. But I cannot say that I actually would download or buy that song and consistently play it. But then he got songs like Made in the USA, in which he's talking about all the things that us as the bottom 99% of people in America must go through possibly for the rest of our lives. Even though that top 1% is saying to us that we can get better, we can achieve more if we put our mind to it, but that's all just a damn trap. But that song wasn't really that great of a listen neither. And then finally, the song, The Radio, in which I agree with some things, and I disagree with some things on that too. Now, I disagree with him on the aspect that he's saying that radio was so much better like 10 years ago or some shit, but let's tell the truth of the matter. Radio was trash then, it's trash now, and it's always going to be trash. But what I can agree with him on this song is the fact that the internet is taking away the mystique and the power that the radio stations used to have. And he's looking at it in a negative way, but me, I see that shit as the greatest shit to ever happen because radio station motherfuckers are bitches. They always have been bitches, and they never put anybody on who didn't already have a connection or some bullshit. But overall, man, I mean, this album was pretty decent. I'm not going to say that it was an automatic buy by no means because there's too many songs on there that are hit or miss. So I definitely recommend you listening to it straight through and then deciding whether you're going to buy it or not. But you can't deny his skills and you can't deny his topics. He's pretty damn good. 